New Zealand, why did you decide to be a reporter working for an Indigenous news station? Mm -hmm. I decided to work for an Indigenous news organisation because I am so passionate about covering news stories, celebrating our Māori people and culture. In New Zealand there is sometimes a negative perception about Indigenous people and so being able to use my voice to showcase people in a positive light is so rewarding and being able to showcase the wonderful things that they're doing. Back home we have doctors who are creating groundbreaking research to help thousands of, thousands of people within our communities. We have sportswomen and sportsmen winning top international awards overseas. We have so many people within our communities creating smaller projects to help people who may be struggling, who may be homeless for example. And so being able to use my voice to raise awareness on this creates so much positivity within my country. If there are people struggling, I'm able to write stories that are uncovering these issues in order to make change for their leaders within our communities or our government. And I really believe that Māori as a culture is the leading Indigenous culture in the world. And I hope that our news stories and our work at Māori Television really help them, I guess, understand that they can also celebrate their unique qualities. And I'm so lucky to be a part of this amazing movement. Well, thank you so much, New Zealand. Thank you. It's and New Zealand. What do you hope you'll have accomplished in the next five years? In five years time I really hope to expand my Beauty with a Purpose project. This year I started my own charity called Brave which I'm really proud of and Brave is all about helping young people affected by sexual violence because when I was a child I was also a victim and so so far with my project I have visited my home region Whanganui and presented to high schools back there but when I get back home from this world I plan to visit all of the regions within New Zealand and also eventually take my project overseas to other countries in the Oceania region. Thank Thank you, New Zealand. India, how has growing up without a father made you who you are today? Everything that I'm today is only through what I've learned from my life experiences, my mistakes, and the circumstances life has put me through. And my father abandoning us when I was only seven years old has turned me into a strong, confident, and independent woman that I'm today and has shown me how courageous a woman could be through my real life superwoman, my mother, as she not just filled my father's shoes perfectly, but also has been the best example of a self-empowered woman. And learning from her as I grew up, I took up the responsibility to become the man of the house, to be able to be a better role model to my younger brother, and also an emotional support to my mother. And if it's my mother's unconditional love that kept me going, it is my father's absence that drove me to find the purpose of my life, that is to stand with those who are abandoned by the society just like me. So I truly believe that everything in the world happens for a reason. And it's not the circumstances that define you, but it's how you face it that makes who you are. So, yeah. Thank you, India. And will your mom be coming to the Miss World final? No, she won't be, but her blessings are always with me. Thank you, India. Thank you so much. We're going to begin with India. India, who is someone from your country that inspires you? In addition to the two strong pillars of my life, my mother and my grandmother, I have been truly inspired by our former president, who is also known as the Missile Man of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, who I deeply revere to as a father figure. And his story from being a small town boy who is a newspaper vendor to having an invention on his own name has always given me hopes in life. And his quote that states, a dream is not something that you see when you're sleeping, but it's something that does not let you sleep has always been my reason to never give up in life. So it would definitely be him. Thank you, India. Thank you. Nepal, at the start of your video, you referred to yourself as an average student. Mm -hmm. What did you mean by this? So you know, frankly, how kids, ever since their childhood, they have an interest in sports or art, or they're just good at maths. But I was one of those kids who was extremely mediocre at whatever she did and I always grew up believing that I did not have any natural talent. So that's what I meant when I said that I was just an average kid. But as I grew up, I realized that hard work could always beat talent and 
you know, right now I'm still the same average kid, but I believe that with hard work and dedication, I can be whoever I want to be. What would you say to kids or parents who believe that they are average students or their children are average students? What would you tell them? You know, I'd like to believe that natural talent is just a myth because I was an average kid, like I said. So I'd like to tell them, please let your children know that if they put their heart and their passion into anything, they can achieve anything that they want to achieve in life. Great. Thank you so much, Nepal. No worries. And Nepal, what is the biggest problem faced by your country and how would you solve it? Unemployment has been one of the biggest challenges that we've been facing as a country as a lot of youth are migrating to foreign countries for job opportunities. So I believe that creating more jobs through tourism, which happens to be one of our biggest strengths as a country, is a way to go about it. I would like to promote to the world that Nepal is a country of diverse culture, ethnicity, and you know, religions, traditions, and we are just people who love celebrations, we love festivals, and I'd like to welcome the world to Nepal with big bright smiles. Thank you, Nepal. Larus, you are a talented dancer, you're an artist, and you can fly a plane. So tell us about why you have such diverse talents. Frankie, I think that it's very important to discover your boundaries. I like to try myself in different areas. I like to try myself in uh, uh, new hobbies and in other different knowledges. So I think uh, it allows me to inspire uh, bright emotions and feelings and if, of course it makes my life happier and more colorful and of course it helps me to develop myself in different areas. Well, truly a master of all trades. I hope, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Belarus. Thank you. Belarus, can one person change the world? If so, how? As an American writer said that yesterday I was clever. That is why I wanted to change the world. Today I am wise. That is why I am changing myself. I completely agree with this statement and I am sure that if you change yourself in this world, this world will change after you. For example, if you become kinder, uh, more humane, and uh, start to help to another people, you become an example to them. And these people will change after you too. Thank you, Belarus. Thank you. Thailand, tell us more about your brother and how he inspired your Beauty with a Purpose project. All right, so my younger brother, he has autism spectrum disorder, and he was bullied in school multiple times, and my mom saw that it was hard to see a clear vision of his future. So I started my project Love for All, which is a project that helps find ki these kids with autism or disabilities an education and a place to work and a place to train for occupational things. Can you believe that over 3.5 million people suffer with autism spectrum disorder? And only 1% of those people have a job. And I feel that having Love for All, it's an easier way to help them get into society and be able to depend on themselves and not their families because I know that they have the ability to and they have a heart of gold starting from my brother and I know that he's the most amazing person and I know that he has a bright future as long as we as a society give them a chance an opportunity and some time. Thank you so much Thailand. Thank you. Thailand, what does beauty with a purpose mean to you? To me beauty with a purpose is spreading happiness and spreading love she is a giver, I believe. She's a giver of opportunities to those who haven't received it. And she's able to put herself in other people's shoes, no matter what class they're in, no matter where they're from, what race, color, or age. And I believe she is someone who's passionate, and anyone who is as passionate as me knows that they were put on this world for a purpose. Thank you.